All right, welcome everybody. Thanks for joining this session on admission um, information session for domestic applicants who have foreign credentials. So th this is for you who are not originally from Canada. You are a permanent resident or Canadian citizen who wants to apply into one of our programs. However, um, your education has come from, uh, you know, an institution from back home. Now, Saskatchewan Polytechnic is located on Treaty 4 and Treaty 6 territories and homeland of the Métis people, as we have campuses in Moose Jaw, Prince Albert, Regina, and Saskatoon. Now, the easiest way to find all of our programs and courses is to go to the saspolytech.ca website, search programs and courses that I've highlighted up top there, and then you can browse programs A to Z on the left hand side there. Now you can also filter programs um, by campus and credential once you have actually um, clicked onto that A to Z program listing, which is really nice. So if you are hoping to stay in one central location um, and you are not willing to move, that can be very helpful. Now, each of our programs has an overview of what the program entails, what kind of careers you could get, how much money you could make, and where the program is located. You're also going to notice the admission requirements. Now, our admission requirements are different for every program, but we also require English language proficiency for our programs. So I'm going to let you know how you can apply and where you need to submit your foreign documentation, but do please um, check out our in English language requirements on our website. So you can simply search that in the search bar on our website. Um, you will notice that we are accepting a minimum overall score of 105 on the online Duolingo English test as the equivalent to the minimum overall IELTS academic score of 6.5. Now, we do have some programs that require specific English language proficiency requirements, so you will want to view that um, as your program might fall under that, okay? So English language proficiency requirements is very important. Um, we have a full list on our English language requirements page of what we accept and what we do not accept. Now IELTS, if that is your choice of um, proving ELP, we do not accept general, it must be academic. But of course the Duolingo English test is another option amongst others that we have listed. Now we have two application processes. One is competitive and one is called first qualified, first admitted. Now competitive programs mean that they are based on highest academic averages. And so it is um, a little bit more uh, tough to get into these programs. But once we assess your transcripts, we will be able to indicate whether or not you meet admission requirements. So it is very important that when you are applying and you have credentials from another country that we can assess your transcripts accordingly. So let's start with the competitive entry programs. The first one is our Saskatchewan Collaborative Bachelor of Science in Nursing. So that's to become an RN, a registered nurse. Now the application window is October 1st to February 15th each year, and all supporting documents has to be submitted by March 15th and it is based on highest academic standing, like I was saying, and there is no wait list. So um, it is important to apply between that time frame and make sure that we get your English language proficiency results. Um, we do not accept Duolingo English Test for Bachelor of Science in Nursing, it is IELTS. So please do check out the sasknursingdegree.ca website um, to see what those admission requirements are. Now, um, usually individuals who are successful of getting into the program will find out in April or May if they have been accepted. These five programs are also competitive entry, which means it is based on highest academic average and, and those that are successful with high marks will move into phase two of the selection criteria. Now, these are combined lab and x-ray tech, dental hygiene, medical laboratory technology, medical radiologic technology, and practical nursing. So please check the 
respective program page for more information on admission requirements, as there is no wait list for competitive entry. So if you were not successful in getting into the program, you may need to uh, consider upgrading um, for the specific subjects that are required for the program. Um, so for more information, please do check the website. Now, many of you might have education from back home that um, you know, you think might transfer into our program, but it is vital that we do the admission uh, or sort of the application assessment uh, on your documents to see first if you even qualify for the program. These programs that I have not, like all other programs that I have not indicated in the last two slides, is called First Qualified, First Admitted. So this is used for the majority of our programs. And applications are open all year round to apply, okay? So you can apply at any point throughout the year. Um, however, most of our full-time programs do start in September each year, unless it has been stated on the web page of a program that there are multiple intakes. Now, some programs might have a part-time option that works better for you. I will have a separate video that speaks about part-time programming um, that you can look at. But right now we are talking about full-time programs, which means you are full-time on campus, Monday through Friday, an average day is eight to four. Now, if you are working, just keep that in mind, that daytime um, is, is how our full-time programs run, okay? So they run throughout the day, Monday through Friday. Now, the sooner you apply and submit the qualifying documents, the better chance you have of getting a seat in the program. Now, because we only have a certain number of uh, students that we take each year, um, wait lists can happen. Um, so you could be qualified, but there might not be room in the program for the intake that you apply to. So when that happens, you will be put on a wait list up until the program start date. And then usually in October, um, you would receive a letter saying whether or not you need to reapply again to keep your same spot on the wait list. So those details are all in your MySouth Polytech portal once you have applied, which I'm going to get to right now. So if you are ready to apply, then make sure that you are researching the specific program and admission requirements on the respective page specifically those English language proficiency requirements. And again, our permanent residents or Canadian citizens that have foreign credentials, please review the English language proficiency requirements. Most of our programs do accept the Duolingo English test with a score of 105, uh, 105 as an equivalent to the IELTS academic with an overall score of 6.5 with a five in each component. Now, there are some programs, like I mentioned earlier, that have specific English language proficiency requirements. So do check that on the respective English language proficiency page and then apply. So once you have applied to a program that is done online on our website, you will then need to have a foreign credential assessment completed to see if you meet the admission requirements. So it does not matter that you have had an assessment done when you landed in Canada, you have to have an assessment done by our um, enrollment team. So the best way to do that is to send color copies. Uh, you would scan in uh, color copies in a PDF format of your secondary and post-secondary education to be assessed and you would send that to international documents at saskpolytech.ca. Um, you would want to include a cover letter, which I'll show you where you can find that. And then you would need to pay the assessment fee by calling enrollment services because there is a fee for that. So your online application fee is $75 and then the assessment fee is also $75 for a total of $150. Now, you will also need to provide proof of residency and English language proficiency to enrollment services. So you can simply email them and you can uh, search for enrollment services on our website. 
And keep in mind that assessments take two to four weeks once we have all of your documents. Uh, we do have an application guideline on our website for domestic and international students, which I'll also show you. So once you have applied, you want to stay in touch because you're going to expect one email to, uh, to yourself from our uh, SAS Polytechnic and you will want to follow instructions because it'll give you login credentials to your My SAS Polytech portal. And you will want to check that frequently because if we've received all the required documents for your application, you would find out within about 15 to 30 business days if you have been accepted into the program. And if you are accepted, you would need to put down a $600 seat deposit, which would be due within 30 days of your acceptance letter. So to recap, once you apply, you have 30 days or sorry, 60 days to get in all your required documents. And if you are offered a seat, you have 30 days uh, to provide $600 um, once you have received your acceptance letter. Some of our first qualified first admitted programs do have special admissions if you don't meet the academic requirements. And that will be listed on the respective program webpage. And this is used for math and English. Um, and not English language proficiency, but English subjects. So we have English language arts subjects uh, in Canada. So it's separate from English language proficiency. Um, but anyway, that's something that you can look into on the web page as well. And if you find that you don't have the subjects required to get into one of our programs, you may want to consider upgrading. Now we have academic upgrading that is free of charge through Saskatchewan Polytechnic. And the best way to find information on that and apply to it is by searching academic upgrade on our site for details. So when you are on the saspolytech.ca website, there is an apply now button in the top right hand corner, which I've outlined with that green arrow. And so once you click on that, there'll be another area in which you have to click on the apply now button and it will um, take you to the portal where you will have to create a login and pin number to start the application process. And once you get to that, um, you know, the application might take you about 20 minutes to complete or more, and then uh, you would be prompted to pay a $75 application fee. Now, I, earlier I mentioned about our application guide. So if you go under the Become a Student tab, I have highlighted the application guide. And then I've also highlighted, if you are an international student, please do check the international page as this is separate and there are special instructions for international student um, applicants and you can also reach them at international at saskpolytech.ca but for domestic students click on that application guide and you will notice that there is four steps that we um, have to take you through the application process and so one one area that I wanted to highlight is is that in our admission requirements it will tell you that um, domestic applicants with foreign credentials do have to pay the $75 assessment fee by contacting enrollment services. So once you have applied, you will want to submit scanned copies of your documents to our international documents at saspolytech.ca with the foreign document submission cover page. So again, if you're going through our application um, guidelines, this will all be under admission requirements and you will see all the additional information that um, you will need to, to know about. If you do have uh, fall under any one of these four categories, if you're a person of Indigenous ancestry, a person with one or more disabilities, a member of a visible minority group, or a woman interested in trades and technology, please do mark that off on your application for our education equity seating. And also, if you have a verified disability, um, when you mark that off, on your application, um, an accessibility counselor will get in touch with you if, if that is something that pertains to you. I thank you for joining me today. Um, there is um, our email address listed right there, and this is the best way to reach our entire recruitment team. You can simply just email ask a question at saskpolytech.ca. Again, that's ask a question at saskpolytech.ca. Um, you can do all lowercase, that's fine. Um, you can also call us at 1 866 
467-4278. And you can also follow us on our social media channels. That's all I have for you today. Um, there are other videos that you might be interested in learning more about. So if, uh, if that pertains to you, then I'll see you in the next video. Otherwise, thank you and have a great day.